This is Barnes to Bull today for Wednesday, March 25th. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark Mumford. And just a quick heads up that the meetings we cover are available on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. Work is progressing on the Gary Brown boat ramp at Hyannis Harbor. That's our first point of focus today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. With the work at the ramp progressing and a steady clip, town engineer Bob Bergman appeared before the Conservation Commission seeking approval for a change in that project. First is Town of Barnesville DPW, SE 33867. The project type was a boat ramp, and the revision is footprint and planting. Good morning, Mr. Bergman. How are you? Good morning. I'm Bob Bergman, Town Engineer. As you will remember, the then Lewis Bay boat ramp, now Gary Brown boat ramp, was permitted by your commission quite some time ago, and uh, we have just, within the past few months, gone to bid and, and finished the construction plan has gone to bid and under construction. And when we were finalizing the, the construction plan, we realized something. We had originally intended to connect the bulkhead to the adjoining bulkhead over at the Anchor Inn. Because of the material we're using in the, uh, the bulkhead, we need dead men behind the bulkhead to reinforce it. When we made the turn to go to the Anchor Inn, the dead men would have been off of our property. So what we opted to do was to shorten the run and do a return on our own property so all of the dead men stay on town property. What that's left is an area between the, the two, which we're leaving in its natural condition, but it's a, it's a steep slope. And so to protect it in the future, we would like your permission to go in there and do some dumped riprap on that slope area to uh, protect it from erosion. We're not changing the, 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 the grading of that slope in any way or, or the, the flow pattern. And there is some existing small riprap down at the foot of the toe of the slope now. So what we want to do is to, is to add some more uh, of the dump size riprap on that slope to uh, keep it from you know having any problems in the future, but I, I I don't think that it's going to be a big problem because of the return here. We also cut back on the amount of dredging we were going to be dredging over to this area since this we we have restricted our dredging, so we're leaving this corner alone. Uh, so the dredging is now in this area; it's not going all the way over to. Uh, the, the anchor in property so that the, the depth at the foot of the hill is going to stay the same so that the, the uh, wave action I think is going to be minimal in that area but we would like as part of our part of our uh, work to do some rip wrapping in there. Bob Bergman yep. also had a request for a change in regard to some plantings that will top off the project. The other thing that we would like you folks to consider is the the order of conditions requires us to revegetate with dune grass and our area really is not a dune this this area now is this this is this is going to be parking in here there's a narrow strip in here to be planted and then we have this rather steep slope area in here that will be revegetated but i think that the, from an erosion point of view, we'd be better served if that was done in more of a conventional uh, grass with a with a better root system and a, a more complete coverage of the slope area to to uh, keep that area from eroding. So I would ask that the order be changed to allow for more normal, uh, you know, grass in that area rather than the dune grass because I don't think that the, the dune grass would give it the, the stabilization and the protection. Uh, that we would like it to have. Okay. Any the Conservation staff? Commission approved the changes requested by the town engineer. Meanwhile, the town's Department of Public Works was also seeking approval yesterday from the Conservation Commission, in this case, to use millings to grade road projects. Uh, I've had a request to take item C out of order, uh, DPW request for the use of millings for our grading projects. Darcy? Um, I'd been requested by Bob Lovell to come out and take a look at a pile that they had of um, mixture of millings. Um, looks like sand, um, brick, 
stone, maybe 10 to 15 percent asphalt chunks. And then I uh, started a little research online. We were given a, um, a great um, website to check into called Asphalt Institute, everything you want to know about asphalt. I provided the commission with a couple of um, uh, research uh, letters regarding asphalt, and they actually had been using them for um, liners for drinking water reservoirs and uh, fish ponds, liners for fish ponds. Um, I did ask Mike and um, Bob Lovell to talk to DEP first about their guidance as far as using millings um, in a combined mixture near wetlands for grading projects. I didn't seem to have a problem when I looked at the pile as far as it going within 50 feet of wetlands, um, but wanted just some more clarification before we brought any of that material near wetlands as far as is the commission okay with it and is DEP okay with it. So um, they were contacted by the state and given some guidelines, which I haven't looked over yet. They just got them yesterday, I believe. So that's where we stand. Bob Lovell, supervisor of the town's highway division, attempted to ease some conservation commission concerns left over from a project on Navigation Road that used millings for grading. In that case, the millings were later removed when they became problematic. Um, on Navigation Road, the, it was it was 100% um, millings. It was no ground mixture with it at all. It was 100% ground, uh, you, know, you know, chopped up road pavement. So that's why you probably have such a high concentration. Now, the oils that that you're referring to that we we saw on the edge of the of the uh, road, I'm not sure if that was related to the to the uh, material or not, or just something coming out of the weeds. I don't know. But this is the material that we're talking about today is not nowhere near that. It's th those are millings. These are th this is just a. It's ground up. Uh, consistency of uh, this brick in it. There's some asphalt, probably five or ten percent dirt. Uh, it's all ground up to a what's called like a four minus. It's the biggest piece is maybe four inches. Um, the DEP we talked to Mark. Uh, D uh, yes, Dak. He said he uh, he really had no problem with the material that, in his opinion, he thought it would be fine. But we have to go before our local commission. So uh, we actually brought a sample of the material. Um, I don't think you're going to find that there, there'll be anything, anything live in the in the material that could, that could possibly leach out. We have such a large pile of this material. Um, you know, we're trying to use it up to save money, obviously, so we don't have to keep purchasing material. We have 90 dirt roads in this town. We have to grade. And of course, you know, if we have to purchase material for all those roads, uh, it's it's a lot of money. So we're trying, to, we're trying to use the material that we have on hand. Um, we believe it's safe, and um, that's pretty much where we stand. The Conservation Commission gave their okay to using the millings, but with the agreement that they will be monitored closely. And please keep in mind that you can find the Conservation Commission meetings on demand at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. Meanwhile, on the town's calendar this evening, Old King's Highway meets in the West Barnstable Community Building at 7. Also at 7, the ZBA is back in action in the Town Hall hearing room. And the Charter Commission has a second public hearing set for this evening in the Knight Auditorium at the high school, also starting at 7 o'clock. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kevin Friel. We'll meet you right back here tomorrow. I'm Mark Mumford.